You want to know how my hair got like this? You want to know why my hair look like this? You want to know why it look like it's my hair? When it actually is my hair? <laughs> you want some tips as to how I maintain my hair? Stay tuned. Hey you guys, it is your girl G Parley and I'm back again with another amazing video and right now I'm just here to I'm here to help! I was told girl help me and I'm here to help. Okay, so as you guys can see, like you know <laughs> bounce skin girl, blonde hair, doing my thing. So I'm just gonna move my ponytail and actually just like brush my hair. I literally just took my satin bonnet off. It might not look like it because like my hair is still laid. It's because it was laid correctly. And the purpose of this video, as you can tell by the title, is like how to slay a blonde wig. Um, this is specifically for my brown skin girls because why we tend to wear wigs and they don't look natural. So here are just a few tips. I'm gonna give you guys five of my favorite tips that I actually use. So like yeah. So five tips to help you slay your wig, and we're gonna make an example with me, my wig, and I. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have not straightened the wig or anything. It's still in great condition. It just has like the band because I obviously tied my hair when I went to sleep. But I'm gonna solve that problem a little bit later. Not now. Yeah, so basically you guys, the first tip really is I would like... I would actually like to advise everybody that's trying to go for specifically blonde hair to make sure the company that you're buying from, make sure you check out the type of dye technique that they use because not everything is compatible with every skin color and complexion and everything. For example, the lace. The lace is not going to be everyone's color, which is why we end up having to, you know, color it, you know, bleach the knots, do this, do that, do that. So I'm going to say, look at the dye technique that is used. So with my precious wig, <clears throat> precious, precious, <clears throat> with my wig, the beautiful thing, the special part of it and everything is the fact that um, my actual wig, like um, in the actual crown area, was done using the strand dye method. Now, the strand dye method is used on um, usually um, Caucasian hair, not African hair, but like to achieve natural looking highlights and to make the highlights look more natural. That's done by how the hair is sectioned and everything. And as you saw in my previous video, if you didn't, you can watch that video somewhere here or here, but I will insert a picture somewhere here or here of how like the actual crown looks. It's actually sectioned off in like cubes and everything. And that sectioning off, it's a lighter blonde and like a darker blonde and everything. But everything over here is obviously the same. That just helps make the look more natural. Just like how you would achieve natural looking highlights. So like the wig, that is why I was actually asked the day I did this hair, which was yesterday. I was asked, is that your hair? And I was like, yeah. Confident, just like yeah, <laughs> because I mean it really does look like it's my hair. You feel me? I mean look at that You can't beat that like you can't beat them train them. You know what I'm saying? So that's the very first tip you need to look for the right dye technique that was used on the wig because that will help you you know Because you know that once you get your wig, you're not gonna have to struggle and go look for foundation like it's gonna be the one Right, so that's number one. So tip number two is if you do not have a wig that is going to go together with your, you know, like your scalp and everything, I'd highly suggest like you invest into wig caps and whatever. Um, this one is not my color though, but it's a wig cap. It's an example of a wig cap, you feel me? Yeah. So getting a wig cap and like doing that um, amazing like wig cap method, like bold method and whatever, and installing the wig. So if I done that method, it wasn't really going to change much. Um, I just believe it was going to be unnecessary for me to do it because my lace was already brown. That brings me to the third tip. So just make sure that the lace that if there is an option, you know, some, 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 some hair so it's actually quite bougie like that so if there is an option like you know for the color of the lace or something like some do have those options get the lace that is going to be closest to your tone you know what i'm saying don't get one that's completely off the grid like no because then you're going to find yourself having to color in your own week with your foundation and whatever you know we don't want to do that no more like that's all that's all back then you know so that was the third tip so then the fourth tip i'm going to advise i was going to actually do it for this week but i didn't do it when um I saw that, no, actually, no, man, the lace matches my skin. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
so um is to use your foundation so this is the foundation that i use together with my foundation brush you can also use powder some people use bronzer as well i just prefer to use the foundation because it's what i had and i was not trying to buy anything new because no you know that's like unnecessary costs so you'll just you know do the things do the things that's why it's like so brown it doesn't go on my face it actually goes on my hair and then you'd actually like just color in the lace like all over the lace from the inside you can also do it on the cap as well after you know like doing the ball cap met method doing the you know and then you go ahead and you do it on the lace as well and then if you're gonna like you know beat your face or something like after doing your hair here's my advice like make sure you beat that hairline too as you can see like my hairline is like pre-beat but ain't got no makeup on one you know but it is pre-beat you know as you can see you know so like even when you're done because once you use like foundation and you go ahead and you do the things it makes it mo look more natural you know yeah i think that was like the fourth one was the fourth or the fifth in my mind it was the fifth one i'm really not sure i'm very bad at counting sometimes um my mind is just not here but like to avoid all of that mess i highly suggest instead of looking for a website and a hair company that you know specializes in these um you know special techniques that help us achieve natural looking looks guys I'm hooking you up. Take it. It's free advice. It's for free. I'm suggesting hair spouts because why? Hair spouts has a variety of their wigs that actually have this special dye method. And that just, every wig is going to look like this. It's going to look like it's yours, basically. And also at a very affordable price as well because depending, obviously, the longer you go, the more expensive. But, like, if you're going for, like, like the shortest cut you know i don't know and you know we spend over a certain amount of money there are always coupons on the website there's gonna be coupon in my description box <laughs> so you see i'm already saving you some money and then we can all be slaying sus you know what i'm saying so yeah so right now i'm just gonna do my hair i'm not there isn't even a lot to do where's my brush oh there isn't even a lot to do because like as i said in my previous video this hair is so soft like it cooperates with you like you don't fight with it i fought with wigs okay so when i say i don't fight with it trust me it doesn't require a lot of maintenance i won't even lie like i'm putting on my hair company this is the my wig so i'm gonna tell you about my wig it doesn't require a lot of maintenance at all like i literally okay i can't find it it's very far away from me but i basically just wrap my hair up in a silk scarf tie well tie it up wrap it up in a silk scarf and then like i put it in a satin bonnet and like it's good you know and there are no like flyaways and everything and the one thing about blonde hair there's there's a lot of flyaways you know what i'm saying because it's very dry hair so even without like too much oil and this and this and that like you're gonna be good you feel me yeah man so i'm just gonna divide this in two because it isn't really a lot that i need to do ah that rhymed <laughs> okay yeah, so that's how I achieve my brown skin, girl. Look, and that's how I'm slaying today as you see me. Because, because I got my strand method. Because, you know, I just believe also investing in something like that. It's a good investment because, you know. Wait, where, my, where did my home go? Oh. It's a good investment because you're not going to be spending money on foundation and a wig cap and whatever. And in the long run, you end up saving money, so... You might as well save that money. You might as well. A few moments later. I don't believe what song is stuck in my head. Six inch heels. Da dang 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 da da dun dun dun. Damn. It works on Monday to Friday. Somebody Sunday hey, hey, Sunday. Oh my gosh I don't know I bent this thing with the straightener And I feel like I'm going to have to fight with it But because this hair um, Listens I won't fight Hey Hi <laughs> Yes you guys Ow Okay, so I just want to like address a wretched situation right here. Like this is my wretched situation. Both of the it just hurts me both fingers, but yeah. Anyway, 
Okay, guys, I forgot to mention, like, how I maintain this hair, so I really don't do anything. Um, I just don't touch it too much. Like, I'm a, hey, don't do that, don't. You are cute, now. you are really cute, don't do that, That's, don't do that. I literally just, like, comb my hair in the morning, and, yeah. <laughs> it's not really much to it, but make sure that, um, you don't sleep with the wig. If you do sleep with it, sleep, for, sleep with it for, like, the first two, three days, because... A friction guys friction and blonde hair because blonde is naturally dry you don't want to like provoke the hair you don't want to provoke hair that's behaving do you know what i mean and my hair spells baby behaves as you can see so so guys please comment down below how cute i look i'm so sorry i just i need some hype i always hype i'm always hyping people myself you know nobody hyping me you know so but yeah let me just give you guys a 360. You know, I like specializing. I specialize in 360s. Yeah. Right? You ready? One. Vana! <laughs> you gotta make myself look up here. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you go and check out this hair, actually. Because um, it's definitely a bargain. It's definitely the best place your money can go. Given that it only takes like four days to get to your door anyway. And the packaging is sustainable. You can reuse it for how many more years even. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, you just want to do that, you know, because I know what's good for you. You know, mama knows best. I'm your mother. Listen to me. I know best. I know what's best for you. So, go and check out the description box. Bye. <laughs>